Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I have to do a brake job here on my uh, F-250. I was doing the axle seals yesterday, uh, axle dust seals, and uh, I noticed that the uh, brake pads were uh, gone. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much a metal right there. So, I'm gonna take a look at that, I and mean, there's nothing even there. So, I decided to show you guys how to do the uh, do a brake job on that thing. So. Um, yeah, it's actually, the, the pistons are massive on that truck. Like, out of all the cars I've worked on, I, mean, I used to work as an auto mechanic in my, my 20s, you know, when I was going to school for computer science. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I always use a uh, large uh, C-clamp. Well, that's actually what I used to use before they actually came out with these like, special tools for doing brake calipers, so. I mean, I do have more expensive ones than this, but, I mean, this thing was like $8.99 over O'Reilly, and, um, uh, also, I, uh, I use a C-clip, and I'll show you that the reason why, to initially push back the piston so I can get the brake pads off. And um, some of these, some brake pads actually have like these little, uh, see these little notches right there? So if you don't push back the, the, the piston first a little bit, it gets hung up on these little, these little tabs right here. So I've already done one side. I haven't done the actual, the full side. I, I just, when I was in the axle sales, I just kept the tire off. So... But yeah, you're going to chew up your piston if you don't actually pull it back first because it, it will it will prevent the caliper from coming off the off the off the mount. So, yeah, so you need like a C-clamp to do that or something big and I mean this tool is just this this tool is for pushing back the piston. I'll show you that once you've already have the the caliper off. So, um also um there's a big debate going on about ceramic versus uh semi-metallic and on a light car with silver rims, I would do ceramic for sure. So, like my light cars that actually have silver rims, I do ceramic because I don't like the brake dust. But my truck has black rims, and uh, also, you know, semi-metallic they bite better. So, especially if you're in a, in a truck like this, like the F250, which is so heavy, and I'm going down mountain driving and hauling furniture back and forth, you know, semi-metallic is way better. So, I'm sure people are going to debate that, but um, that's just my experience, you know, is the, the ceramics, they fade, and even actually go on the website, go, go to O'Reilly's website, and if you're looking for F-250, it's going to say base, basically that the ceramic brake pads are not for severe duty, they're not for towing, you know, so there's a reason why, because they don't bite as much, they don't, the, 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 the brake material doesn't bite into the actual rotor as much, so... Um, yeah, I've actually learned that too over the since I started using ceramic because they seem they don't grab as much, you know, they don't break as fast. But uh, I mean, to me, like I said, I have black rim, so I don't even care. So I don't even see the brake dust. But all right, guys, so get started with this thing. All right, guys, so I guess this is not going to be an in depth review of how to get a brake caliper off, but really, just I mean, this is pretty basic. If you're doing this, it's just let's get the caliper off this part right here. I usually store here, that's a good spot, you know, on the uh, sway bar. That way you're not putting tension on this thing right here. Um, it's a, okay, it's two bolts basically, right there and there, and then here and here. I mean, that's just, to get that thing off. But like I said, you need to get the C-clip, C-clamp on there to push it back a little bit, or it's gonna get caught up in those nubs, you'll never get the caliper off, just because um, like other cars, you can just pull straight off. You know what I mean? But this one, because of those tabs, you, you won't, you can't pull straight off. You have to first push back the pistons a little bit. And uh, but I wanted to show you this little piston tool here. All right. All right. So I don't know what this thing. This thing is. You normally want this to get this thing flat. I mean, this is this is not. This is like an extreme. This this thing is designed, I think, for like a small, like little compact car, single piston probably. Um, I normally just use a C, big C clip. Just because of Super Duty's mat, this thing is massive. I mean, this is a Dana 60. I think it's Dana 60. Um, yeah, but this is like the mat, but this is actually the most massive front axle I've ever seen, you know? So, you think you just uh, you twist it. Normally, you wouldn't want to go from the side because you don't want to bind it up. But, yeah, this thing sucks. I don't know if this thing's even doing anything. I don't have to use my C clip, probably. Yeah, this thing's ridiculous. I think they're gonna do shit. All right, you can grab my C-clip. This is how I normally do it. Just put a C-clip in there like that. 
I have that bigger one to kind of push it back first. Um, so get this thing back. See, you just hardly just one hand to hold it, but just pull it back like that. So take a look at the existing hardware. But the cool thing about these things are they're spring tensioners, and I actually haven't seen that on very many cars. Um, I guess I made a couple, but the cool thing about that it puts spring tension, so it pushes the that pushes the, the the pad against the piston, so it keeps it off the the rotor, which prevent you know it heats up less, you know, so it keeps the pad off the off the rotor and back on the piston, so it's tight. I'll probably also reduce this noise too, but yeah, I'm thinking that's probably mainly to probably reduce heat, so you don't have a constant your pad's not totally always riding on the rotor, so. All right, that should just go like that. Let's see. Sorry, it's kind of difficult doing this with one hand. See that out there? See the concept here? See that out there? It's like kind of creating like a. See that? This is like kind of acts like a, as like a spring right there. See? And these things, these need to be worked in, but pretty cool, huh? See, it's kind of like under spring tension a little bit. I right, probably lube those up me a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so now this is on. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. Let's see if I can. Let's see, count that heavy. Yeah, not heavy at all. Hand. So I'm just gonna flip the collar back on. And it. All right, guys. Pretty basic. Just go in there and just get the screw, and that's it. Pretty basic, you know. This line, that, right. there we go. One of the easiest things to do on a car, actually. Brake job. It takes usually a few minutes. I mean, this truck is pretty heavy, so it takes longer. I have big tires, but a small car, you can get it done. I can usually get it in half an hour, you know, or less. All right. All right, guys, cool. Hopefully, this helps somebody.